In this video, I uh, will say a few things about how Somali verbs are inflected for different tenses. Uh, if we have a quick look at English, then there are three basic tenses. There is the present tense and the past tense which are marked by suffixes or endings and then there is a future tense that is uh, formed through the use of an auxiliary uh, that is followed by the infinitive form of the of the basic verb that denotes the, the meaning uh, and actually, the same uh, is true for Somali. There are three tenses, and the present and the past uh, are uh, formed by suffixes. Uh, there is a present tense suffix that is a uh, long a. Uh, and then a past and suffix that is a. Uh, and then there is a future tense that is formed through the use of an auxiliary, do, na. And it actually means will or want. Uh, so the whole system is very similar to, to the English system. Uh, there is an important difference in the future tense, and that is that the auxiliary follows after the infinitive form in, in Somali. Um, <clears throat> but um, in English, there isn't very much more uh, when to say when it comes to, to inflection. But um, in Somali, um, these uh, endings uh, are not the whole picture uh, because in Somali verbs are also inflected for person and number so uh, there is a whole um, set of present tense forms uh, where some are kind of plain without any additional uh, suffixes, only the tense suffix are. But there are also forms that contain a person suffix, T or N, or both T and N. Uh, and the same is true for the past tense. There is the first person, singular and third person singular masculine that are plain they only contain the tense ending and then there are a number of forms that also contain a person endings the t and the n and the same is true for the auxiliary that is actually a present tense uh, verb that is used to form the future tense. So it's the present tense of the verb will, want, uh, that then combines with the infinitive of the verb that we want to put in the future tense. So this is to, to sing, esi, esi, and um, uh, this infinitive form ending in i is then followed by the auxiliary uh, dona, uh, and together those two words uh, function as the future tense. Uh, Somali also has aspect. There is a simple and a progressive form in the present tense. Uh, just like in English, I sing, I am singing. And uh, the progressive present tense is formed by the addition of I before the other endings. 
And the same is true for the past tense. There is a simple past, like in English sang, and a progressive past, like English was singing. And uh, the Somali progressive past tense is also formed by adding the a uh, before the other suffixes. And finally, there is a third. Uh, uh, there is a third. Uh, aspect in the past tense in Somali, the habitual form, which is formed through the use of a of an auxiliary uh, verb, jiri. So here it's the auxiliary that carries the past tense suffix, uh, and this auxiliary follows after the infinitive of the basic verb that carries the meaning that we want to express. So used to sing, he si, sing to sing, and jire used. Uh, yeah, and that's a quick um, overview uh, of the tenses in in Somali. There are three basic tenses: present, past, and future. But since Somali verbs are also inflected for person and for aspect. Uh, the number of different forms is quite large. Uh, and there are also some forms that involve, involve different kinds of sound changes or sound alternations. And uh, that's something that we will need to uh, talk about. Uh, about in a separate video. Uh, there is also more to say about the use uh, of the different tenses as well as the use of the different aspects and we'll, we'll also come back to those uh, issues.